Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up staple diffusion in only 5 minutes in order to be able to use both A1 and also Comfy UI. So let's begin. Alright, first we're going to be downloading Stability in Matrix. To do that, we're going to go to the GitHub page right here, click on Releases, and then from here you can scroll down and you can either download the Windows or Linux version of it. So we're going to do Windows because I'm on Windows 11. And once the zip file is downloaded, we're going to be opening either WinRAR or you can use 7-zip. We're going to double click on it and what we need is this file right here, Stability Matrix. So you can just extract that to wherever you want to keep the file. After that, we're going to double click on it and we're going to open it up. Once it opens up, it will tell you what graphics card you're using. I'm using the GTX 1070, it detected that and I'm going to click I have read and agreed the license agreement. You don't have to read it, it just tells you that they're going to take your firstborn child. We're going to click continue. And now from here, you pick wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to keep it on default. It's just going to be in my users directory. And then I would recommend doing a um, portable. That way, all of your data is in that folder. And if you want to put it on a laptop or anything, and you want it to be, you know, as it says, portable, then you'll be able to do that. So I would click on that. Then click continue. Now the software will ask you which interface you want to use. Now there's two that I would recommend, which is going to be automatic one, which is the top one right there. That one's a really good one for pretty much doing anything with when it comes to doing AI pictures. And then the second one is going to be comfy UI. Now both of them are really good and they kind of do the similar stuff, but the difference is going to be automatic ones a little bit easier. And if you want to do in painting where you want to like edit a certain part of a picture for that A1 seems to do better and comfy UI in my opinion is better if you want to render out high resolution images it's also a little bit faster and if you have a graphics card that, that doesn't have a lot of VRAM comfy UI is better for doing high quality images so personally I kind of use both of them so I would recommend both of them so you can just click install right here and it will start installing they can only install one at a time so we're going to install A1 first and then we're going to do Comfy UI. So just let it install for a second here. All right, now that it's done downloading, what we can do right here is let's make this full screen. Now you have a bunch of different stuff that you can do with it. First of all, like I said, I recommend downloading Comfy UI also. So we're going to click on this link right here and here we can see different interfaces that we downloaded. We have A1 right now, so we want to download Comfy UI also. So we're going to click Add Packages here. And right here, we're going to go down to Comfy UI and we're going to download it also. So let's just click install right on here. And it's going to do the same thing here. We're just going to install it again. Let's down that we have both of them available to us. Now, if you're completely new and you don't know what you're doing with AI at all, this stability matrix also has its own UI also. It's based off of Comfy UI. So that's one of the reasons we also downloaded it. So if we click right over here, interface, Right here, we have it open and we can actually make AI images through here also. But first, we need to download some models and you can actually do it through here. Now, normally you would go to Civic AI website and from there you can download it, but this is already connected to it. So we can go right over here and we can click, if you just want to download whatever, you can click most downloaded here and then you can put the period as all time. That way you can see the most downloaded one. You can click show and save W and save FW if you want to see some so you can click search here and it will show up the ones that you can download there's two types of models you can download you have the 1.5 models and then you have the SDXL models the 1.5 is just gonna be the older style models that are pretty much easier to run they're lower quality and then the SDXL is the newer ones that are higher quality so depending on how high quality you want your pictures to be and what your computer can actually run you want to go with those so we're going to download both of them actually so we're going to go with the realistic vision v1 5.1 that's the one i recommend for the 1.5 one and it actually looks really good even though it's a 1.5 one so for that you just click import the latest and it will start downloading it and then for the sdxl we're going to search for it actually and we're going to search juggernaut and right here, as you can see, Juggernaut Excel, that's what I would recommend. And you can click import on there also. If you click the link right here at the bottom, it will show you your downloads. 
So we can just click clear finished here and both of them are downloading right now. And once those are downloaded, we can start editing, some, making some pictures. And that's pretty much all you need in order to start making some pictures. Now, when it comes to using A1 and Comfy UI, they are pretty complicated softwares and you can do a lot with those softwares. But if you want to just start edit, making some pictures, then you can just go into the stability matrix program, click on interface, and then you can pick the model that you, we just downloaded. So let's go with the Juggernaut XL. And then we can just start doing some prompts. So the the prompt at the top is what you're gonna create, and the negative is what you don't want in the picture. So we can do like a like a we can write stuff like beautiful redhead girl with green eyes, and then we can we should put some prompts in like 4K cinematic professional photo. Photography, you can even write stuff like bokeh, boko, or you can and you can even like put like camera names. So you can put like Canon R5, or you can even do like you can even pick a lens. So you can do like a 15 millimeter 1.2 lens, and then it'll create you an image. So let's do that. Let's click generate image, launch, and then generate image again. And there you go. It was able to create this image, you know, fairly quick within a minute. And then if you want to do something similar in A1, we just go to launch and then we stop it because it uses Comfy UI. And then we go to stable diffusion. We click launch again. And then we can do the same exact prompt. At the top right here, you pick the model you want. We're going to go with the same exact prompt, Juggernaut XL. And then we're just going to copy and paste the same exact prompt. And then we can just click generate. And there you go, A1 also generate the image. It does take a lot longer. With the Comfy UI, this is generated in like a minute. With A1, it took four minutes and 44 seconds for a similar looking image. That's why if you wanna do some like high resolution images, it's better to do it in Comfy UI. But what is good about A1 is that you can do in painting. So you can take an image like this and then you can bring it, if you click this image right here, It'll bring it to A1 and then you can change stuff about it. For example, if you want to give her blue eyes, you could just select her eyes and then just write blue eyes in here and then you'll be able to change it. Now when you do in painting, I do recommend changing this from XL to just 1.5. That does work better. XL does work, but it seems to be slower and like in some scenarios, it doesn't work that well. So we're just going to change it back to 1.5 and then you want to scroll down and you want to click only masked only. And then let's do generate. And this shouldn't take that long. And there we go. <laughs> okay, we need better prompts in order to get blue eyes. But as you can see, you can do in painting and like change stuff around. So that is really cool. When we open up Comfy UI, you're going to get a user interface that's like this. It might look a little bit intimidating and scary at first, but it's honestly not that difficult. Now that I have a Comfy UI, it's not like the other one. This is node based. So what's going to happen is that Every individual process the AI takes, you can completely change. You can put different stuff between in order to get a better looking image. And right here, we have the load checkpoint where we're going to put our model, which is going to be the Juggernaut XL. And then we have our prompt. So it's going to be the same exact things, you know, beautiful red haired girl. And then you have it here. And then you can just adjust all of these settings however you want. And then you can just click Q prompt on the right. And then it's going to do the same exact thing that we did previously. And the cool thing about Comfy UI is that you see each process happening. So as you can see right here, it highlighted the screen. So it's loading the model right now. And after that, it's going to go from here to right here. It's going to look at the prompt. As you can see, it's looking at the positive prompt, look at the negative prompt. And then set the KS sampler, which is pretty much what generates the image together. And then you have your VA decode and it's going to decode that code and then turn it into an image. So we're just going to wait for this to happen. And as you can see, it's so much faster. With A1, it took four minutes, almost five minutes in order to do it. And it's doing it right here live in like less than a minute. The Comfy UI, I do like a lot because of that. And as you can see, boom, we just created the image right here. And now thing, the cool thing about Comfy UI is that it's not too difficult when you keep it like this, but you can go crazy with this thing. So let me show you guys. So what you can do is you can download workflows with Comfy UI. So I downloaded Surger's workflow, which I'll have a link for in the description. And what you can do is you can drag and drop it and boom, 
you can download other people's crazy workflows that they created into creating like high end images. And it looks intimidating and crazy at first, but honestly, it's not that bad. So we're just gonna switch a lot of things. We're gonna put our model right over here, model selector right there. So we put our juggernauts eight over here, and then we're just gonna put the same prompt right over here. Beautiful redhead girl. And by default, it does render out a bigger image right here. And then text to image, and you can even do image to image, and you can do in painting in this also. And then prompt mode, we're just gonna keep this main and negative only because I don't wanna go crazy with it. But you can do like secondary prompts, you can do styles, negative secondary, like you can go crazy with this. But we're just gonna keep it very simple and then we're just gonna do Q prompt. Now this is gonna take a little bit longer because as you can see it's going through like a hundred different things. But at the end, it's gonna give you a better looking image. So after seven minutes later, it was able to produce an amazing looking image. And you can even make this look better by using upscalers and everything. And then it'll take like 15, 20, 30 minutes in order to be able to do that. But at the end, you get a great looking image. I mean, look at that, that looks perfect. And all the refiners made sure like there's any flaws with it. I mean, I can't see anything. You know, the eyes always look a little weird, but besides that, I mean, it looks pretty much perfect. But anyways, this is just a basic overlook on how to use these software. I'm going to be making more complicated videos where I'm going to be showing you specific things that you can do with these software because for the past year, I've been using these software and you can do some crazy stuff with it. I'm going to share my knowledge with you guys. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was useful to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.